Good morning. So I want to pick up where I left off uh, about two weeks ago. I wanted to talk to you all about worship and it's like right on point because my life group, we talked about worship this week too. So I want to talk to you. Worship as believers. I'm a I'm an expert when it comes to worship, not because I, ha I have like risen in expertise of worshiping Jesus Christ. I'm still learning how to do that effectively and more efficiently rather not really effectively but more efficiently but i was an expert at worshiping other things like myself believing that i was the god of my life <laughs> worshiping tarot cards worshiping ancestors worshiping spirit guides worshiping the law of attraction i was really good at doing those things because i put those things first in every single thing that i did i would get up in the morning and I would meditate on getting money, okay? And so let me explain that to you. When you meditate on the word of God, the word of God can never come back to you void. The, uh, God is never a man that shall lie. So meditating on the word, you can guarantee that it'll come back to you. Can we have a keep it real moment? How many times have you tried to meditate on something to manifest something and nothing happened? And I don't want to hear the people, but something came in place and it was greater. Stop lying. It doesn't happen like that all the time. It does not happen all that like that all the time, which is why a lot of people get into these very sad cycles of trying to manifest something and nothing happens because it's not for you. And they won't tell you the part where they tried to manifest something too and absolutely nothing happened. All right. Because guess what? Your word can come back to you void. Hallelujah. Only God's word can come back to you. Um, only God's word will not come back to you void. Your word will come back to you void. Your word... You already know that you can't stand on your word. How many times have you said you was going to do something and you ain't do it just for yourself? So, okay, I would get up in the morning and I would try and meditate on getting money. I would go and I would then read tarot cards to figure out how my day was going. Then I would say affirmations throughout the day, trying to find the strength within myself, not realizing that the strength was in the Holy Spirit and I wasn't calling on the right thing. So I would try to find it in myself, find it in my flesh, hallelujah, instead of finding it in my spirit. Okay, and so I would do things like this all day. I would put these things before doing anything else I would do. I was good at worshiping other things. So when it came to worshiping Christ, it was very easy for me to understand that worship is just not an hour before church. Worship is just not turning on your radio and listening to the gospel station. Worship is actually being intentional about inviting the Holy Spirit in every single thing that you do. So what do you think that I did? or do actually now I get up and I meditate on the word, which I know does not return to me void. I get up and I don't say affirmations. I recite Bible scriptures that help to enforce what my identity is in the kingdom of heaven. Okay. I get up and before I do anything, um, or go anywhere, I invite the Holy spirit in that space. So believers understand that worship is just not music. Worship is a lifestyle and actually including Jesus Christ in every single little thing that you do. Because understand this, non-believers are doing that. And they're doing it all day, every day. And I know because I used to do it. So don't make it like it's difficult. Maybe it will be difficult. It wasn't difficult for me to transition who my point of focus is. Who my point of focus is. <laughs> and it's Jesus Christ. So be intentional about that. Be intentional about every single moment and inviting the Holy Spirit in. All right. My arm getting tired. I got to go.